There's special doings down in the winner's circle, and let's go down quickly to Kenny Rice. Kenny? Thank you, Sam. I'm with Jeff Mallett, and I believe everybody in his hometown, right? Yeah, everybody. I think all my friends are here in a couple uh, just acquaintances. We talked over there just before you brought Dragon's Lair back out for this race. You said you expected pretty much the same kind of race. You were going out early. You expected a fast time, maybe even another record. Right. Uh, the thing I did expect, I expected them to send uh, Tommy Houghton out of there with Pershing Square as, uh, to run cover for Nihilator. And I wasn't going to take the bait. They wanted me to drop in the two hole. And I thought we could beat Nihilator, and uh, we proved it. Let's take a look down the stretch now. Dragon's Lair is leading all the way. You feel comfortable? You feel like he had a lot of horse going into this final? Yeah, I felt like he was the best in here. Uh, I didn't know if I uh, could win it this comfortably, but he won it pretty much within hand. You see, I'm trying to catch Dragon's Lair at the end. You said all along, this is the horse. Yeah, we always thought he's, a, he's as great a horse as there is in the country. Uh, we haven't really received the publicity some of these others did, but uh, you know, we were real proud of him. Congratulations, Thank not you. only winning this Breeders' Crown, but setting a record 54 and one. Thank Congratulations, you. Jeff Mallett. Now back to you, Sam. Thank you very much, Kenny Rice, and our congratulations to Jeff Mallett, who had to get on the phone to try to find people to help him buy this horse, and now he'll have calls wanting to buy it a bet. Well, Bragg and Slayer, along with Broadway Express, Nihilator 1, 2, 3. There you see the official time of 154-1. Back with more in a moment. The Breeders' Crown moves on to Edmonton, Canada for the three-year-old Colt Pacers. That'll be live Sunday, October the 14th, beginning at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And that's the kind of excitement that you saw tonight. You'll have even better excitement coming up once again on Sunday night as Sharon Smith, Kenny Rice, and yours truly, Sam Smith, will be there to bring it to you. Sharon, two world record times tonight. That's the kind of excitement the people with the Breeders' Crown wanted to get. I'll tell you, the voters for uh, two-year-old Pacer of the Year are going to have a little bit of a tough time deciding between Nihilator and this cult. Nihilator's accomplishment still a little bit greater, but the fact is, in their final showdown, which will be their final showdown, presumably, uh, it was uh, Dragon's Lair, the comfortable winner. Well, for Sharon Smith and Kenny Rice, this is Sam Smith. Hope you've enjoyed our program tonight. From once again, the Meadowlands in Pennsylvania with our winner tonight, it's Dragon's Lair for the Breeders' Crown for the two-year-old Colt Pacers.